Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Alter Tech back again with a new video and in my hands is the LG Velvet and for the first time I can proudly say that LG has put in the time and effort into optimizing and improving their software experience. So something that has held me back when it comes to buying LG phones is the software. Now the camera hardware, audio hardware, uh, the features, everything has been solid, even the price, especially the price. Now for Samsung phones, when it usually comes out, it's usually just over, a little bit too over my budget, but for LG devices, it's pretty much attainable. Uh, but the only drawback has been, like I said, the software experience up until today. So this is running the Snapdragon 765G, and with that processor, which isn't as great as the LG G8's 8, 55 processor this actually feels a lot more smoother and a lot more responsive than my lg g8 now could you believe it now i'd say it's because of lg actually putting in the time into optimizing their launcher uh, now you still have a list of great features as well like you know you have a screenshot screen recording uh, focus mode a, a ton of features uh, lg pay it uses MST, the same technology that Samsung Pay actually uses. I mean, it's incredible. And let's go ahead and see if I can find it real quick. Uh, LG Apps, right over here, LG Pay. So, awesome. So, people, so the differences, like I've said, you know, with prior LG phones is that when it comes to the launcher, uh, there is a second or two delay when it comes to, you know, opening an app or just, you know, flipping through your screen. Sometimes it was just a little bit too jerky. It just wasn't optimized or like I would say fluid enough like some other phones like the Pixel or OnePlus devices. Now times have changed people. Um, hopefully the same experience could be brought into the LG V60. And um, I'm, I'm guessing the LG, the new phone, the LG, was it the Swivel? The new phone that came out. Yeah, hopefully it has the same experience as this because this is as smooth as it gets. Uh, very, very nice. No complaints whatsoever. Um, some other people have had the LG Velvet as well, but they've complained of, you know, some jerkiness. Um, some of the same old LG uh, issues that people have complained about in the past. But this is fully upgraded. Uh, this has the latest security uh, patch as well as the latest security software update. Um, so with that, people, this phone is running buttery smooth. Now, some of you guys are saying, hey, this doesn't have 90 hertz or 120 hertz. But to me, people, it doesn't really matter uh, depending on how you use your phone. Now, let's say this. If you're scrolling like light speed or you're just flicking it quite rapidly, yeah, you're going to notice the refresh rate. Uh, it might bother you a little bit if you're coming from a 120 hertz display. But if you were to just take your time, and just, you know, just scroll down like uh, how the average person or uh, would, you're not really going to, you know, it's not really going to bother you. Um, and as for how the UI, actually, it's the layout and everything. Um, animations are pretty quick and snappy, so you don't really have to... Uh, you know, mesmerize yourself with that smooth uh, scrolling like you would get on the OnePlus Oxygen experience. So if you guys really wanted to, you know, experience a high refresh rate, make sure get, you get a phone that actually has a, a UI that actually shows off that high refresh rate. But what do I mean by show off? I mean by where you can actually scroll up and down like a long list. That's where you actually would... Um, where you could actually truly appreciate 120 hertz. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and scroll through Instagram like this. Yeah, so uh, if you would have a high refresh rate, you're definitely going to, you know, appreciate it. But if you're just, you know, on Instagram and just, you know, slowly, casually, just, you know, scrolling, uh, look how nice and smooth this is. This is something I've always wanted from LG. And this is the first time they've actually been able to do this. So this is LG actually showing me they're actually committed in the software side of smartphones now uh, i'm not to i'm not trying to, to criticize them but uh, over the years they just haven't been able to catch on with you know uh, brands like the pixel oneplus and samsung so for the first time people i'm super excited this this is very very promising and this could actually just make me want to go ahead and uh, purchase a new lg phone and use it as my main daily driver 
Now this is a this is a mid range device, and for the price, uh, you're getting a dual display. And this is actually if you're interested in the Samsung Galaxy Fold, but you don't have two grand, or you don't even have one grand, uh, this is going to cost you about depending where you buy it and from what carrier. You can end up getting this whole entire set for about under 500 bucks if you play your cards right. So uh, the display, the second display case, it should be about 200 bucks. And the phone itself, you could probably get it for under 300 bucks if you do a trade-in or if you sign up for a, a two-year commitment with a carrier. So people, uh, what do I think about this so far? Uh, having dual displays, it's more... It, opens up a whole window of opportunities when it comes to multitasking. Uh, for example, you know, watching a video or just, you know, while you're texting your friends or you're on WhatsApp. Or for example, I saw someone, uh, I believe it was George, he actually had his Bible open while he was live streaming his, uh, his what was it, church? Something like that. But, I mean, the possibilities are endless, like I say. Um, uh, even when it comes to being productive, let's say you are you like to draw, you can, you know, draw on this side and have a photo right over here and just, you know, there's so many things you could do. Uh, for example, for me, um, I could also play Call of Duty on this screen and watch the NBA Finals, which is now over. So people, when it comes to pro productivity and procrastinating like a madman, uh, this phone at around 500 to 700 bucks, uh, this complete set, you know, it's a win. And um, it's also one of the best looking devices I've seen so far in 2020. But like I said, I mean, you guys could gush over, you know, over having two, two screens. But the biggest surprise is how well, um, how smooth the LG launcher experience has been. Because years and years I've been begging LG, not begging, but just, you know, asking them, hey, could you just, guys, just please optimize your software. If you guys could just do that, you know, it would just be amazing. Your phones would be pretty much uh, highly recommendable. And um, not to say these are bad phones or they were bad phones. It's just to say that uh, when it came to having a, a great software experience, like with the best of the best, now I could definitely go ahead and recommend LG. Now for this phone, people, the camera, it's pretty nice. The camera software, as usual, LG has great cameras, but I, I, I'm I, not the kind of guy to just rock around with a budget phone. I want more. So for me, people, um, what's good about this is that the LG V60 is available and it does have a better camera system. It is a little bit more pricier. Um, right now it's not on sale on T-Mobile, but I'm actually waiting for it to go on sale. Um, but for this one, what I do appreciate about this is that this case, it's a lot more durable than the dual case on the LG V60, which is just straight up all glass. So uh, for this one, I've put, I've held this phone or I've laid it on a pavement to take some nice pictures. I like to use this as a tripod. Like I'll just sit it like this and it's very, very handy. I hope LG continues to make these dual screen displays and I hope they continue to, well, I hope they in the future make this uh, dual screen setup more rugged so you know you could use it for uh, more situations like when it comes to using it as a tripod um, or, and whatnot so uh, overall I'm very very excited about this phone I'm very satisfied with this phone uh, it completely blew my expectations out the water and uh, all, all of you uh, LG fans out there I mean this is very promising uh, you know over time LG phones tends to depreciate quite quickly so hopefully you guys could pick up a LG G8 or LG V60 in the near future um, for a good bargain or even the LG Velvet. Um, this is uh, one thing that these companies don't really talk about is how many bands these phones have. And for the T-Mobile variant, which has a MediaTek chip processor, uh, it's supposed to have well, some give you some of the fastest 5G speeds um, on the market. So, um, and as for the AT&T variant, uh, it does have a ton of bands as well, and it should, you know, give you some great uh, reception for 5G signal. So anyways, people, uh, this is the LG Velvet. Um, I've had a great time using it, and I, 
surprisingly, I use this phone more than any other phone in my arsenal when I'm at home because this just, you know, allows me to do so many things at one time. So, for example, uh, say I want to go ahead and check Instagram while I'm watching YouTube, or maybe I want to message someone on Instagram while I'm watching YouTube. I mean, the list could go on and on. Maybe there's a nice deal on Slick Deals while I'm watching a movie. I could probably go ahead and just, you know, sneak up on this and see what we have. Tomorrow is Amazon Prime Day, so we'll see what, what's going to happen. Uh, maybe there's some nice deals. I'll try to post any if I see it. And also, for example, the Apple 11, sorry, Apple 12 event is coming out tomorrow. So I could actually stream that on one of these screens and I could go ahead and talk to uh, my homies on WhatsApp for the, what was it, TYT? Sorry, I forgot the name of the, the group, uh, but these guys are awesome. They make a lot of great videos. I'll post a link um, into the description of, um, you know, so you guys could check them out. Uh, it's a really nice, um, you know, group we have here. They're very supportive. Um, but anyways, people. LG is on the right track when it comes to, you know, the software side of things. And I hope they continue this road to improvements. Um, and I hope the LG V60 gets the same update. So anyways, people, this is Altertech signing out. I uh, hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Peace.